All right, so here is the Clevo W230ST. We have it next to the Sony Veo Pro 13 and a 2009 Veo Z, which actually the screen is going to be on because it's currently having some issues. But I just wanted to put it side by side so you can kind of get an idea. All right, so I've now had this laptop for about one month. Cost uh, about a thousand two hundred bucks or so. It was quite a deal, as you probably all know the specs of it. I mean, it has a massive GPU for a 13-inch laptop. I got it with the 4702 MQ uh, CPU, which is actually different than the usual 4700 that people get it with. Uh, I did this because it supposedly has slightly less heat and also slightly more battery life. I actually I haven't tested the battery that well to really give you a good estimate. I mean, it's around three hours. I mean, it could be better, but three hours is good enough to lay on your lap and web surf for some time. So I, from what I understand is if there's supposed to be some sort of BIOS update where the GTX will be disabled fully and uh, that way it'll give it a lot more battery life using just the Intel chip. But right now, the Intel chip and the GTX are both enabled when you're at battery, which the GTX you know, draws a lot of battery. All right, so, I mean, this is one hell of a little machine, let's first say about that. Um, I mean, it's pretty much able to play every single game on max or just below max settings. I've played this new, uh, what is it, Samurai game? I actually forgot the name of it. Um, uh, and I guess, what other games do I even play? So I, I got Splinter Cell Blacklist, I got... Metro Last Light, I got Company of Heroes 2. Company of Heroes 2 surprisingly runs pretty poorly. It's something like medium low settings, and it's a pretty demanding game. Path of Exile, obviously, max settings. Uh, League of Legends, max settings, anything like that. Metro Last Light, I think it's like one setting below max or max. Um, so, heat wise, I mean, that's probably the main concern about this laptop. So far, my computer has not reached above 85 degrees Celsius. Um, it's actually pretty good. It's definitely a little noisy. Um, I mean, if you're using headphones, you won't even notice. And if there's other noise in a room, it's it's not so loud. But I mean, if you're in a completely quiet room and the only thing that's on is this laptop, it, it, it sounds pretty loud. But obviously, most of us are not sitting in a completely silent room and just listening to a laptop. So it really is not an issue. And I mean, if you're buying going to buy a 13-inch gaming laptop, what are you going to expect it to be quiet or something? Um, so, I'll just say some certain impressions. Also, the keyboard, the keyboard is good. Um, I was going to say it's great, but it would be nice if the keys traveled just a little more. They, they kind of have short travel, but it's still good. It's very close to great, but it's good. Touchpad, the, the touchpad is honestly not that great, but it, it's good enough. Um, I kind of have to play with the settings a bit to get it right. Speaker-wise, the speakers are medium medium to low quality but loud so it's good enough honestly from a laptop like this the speakers are not necessarily what i'm looking for to be great at actually compared to the veo pro 13 veo pro you might not know but it has some amazing speakers seriously i've never seen a laptop and i actually had the veo pro 11 before this i swapped it out for the 13 but those two computers or these two computers have amazing quality sound for especially their size it's just it's unbelievable very loud, very clear, and very high quality. Um, so you're probably all wondering about the size of this computer, and to one surprise when I got it, it wasn't quite as fat as I thought it would be. Looking at the pictures, I was really, I mean, I knew I was getting a fatter laptop, but I don't know if you can really tell, but it's it's not that fat. Like, let's see, I mean, that's this, and let's compare it to Obviously, an insanely thin computer. I mean, but this computer is, you know, it's part of its drawback to it that it's so thin because it can't pack up more fast processor. It gets pretty hot. It can't upgrade anything, and yeah, it's an ultra bug, and it's missing most of the pores. This computer is missing. So surprisingly, I mean, you really, really until you hold this thing. I know on camera, and I've seen, I saw tons of videos, pictures of this computer, and it, it really felt fatter on all the pictures and, and the camera than it really is in real life. It's, I think it weighs something around five pounds, which obviously, or four and a half maybe. It, obviously it's a little on the heavy side, but I mean, the amount of things that are packed in this computer are pretty ridiculous. I have a 750 hard drive, um, eight gigs of RAM. I was gonna get 16, but I haven't even used all eight. So at the moment I'm holding it off, I have a crucial M5 256 gig SSD. And yeah, it's it, it screams along pretty well. And, one of the things you're probably wondering about is the screen. 
as we all know, there is some light bleed on the screen. Let's see if I actually have anything I can show. This light um, I really don't have anything pitch black right now. Um, maybe one of these games have a... Let's see, maybe this has a black loading. Uh, And yeah, no, that's not gonna work. All right, so yeah, basically there is light bleed and it's not that bad. I, I mean, obviously some I've seen that is pretty bad on, but I mean, you for one, you only notice it when the screen is completely black, which is pretty rare. I mean, I guess if you're playing a horror game, then you'll notice it more, but you, you pretty much, I, you never notice it. I mean, actually, you know what? I, I can show it to you when it reboots. So let me just quickly reboot it and you should be able to see. So it's gonna be rebooting, but yeah, it's really not that bothersome, and it's obviously not fun to start up a new computer and see light bleed, and it's kind of disheartening because it seems like it's really the main big fault of this laptop. But in reality, and like at first, it made me pretty mad, but I forgot about it pretty quickly. Okay, now I'm see, maybe able to see it. Now you see, there's a few blotches here. It's kind of hard to see them on this Note 2 camera, but actually, no. Yeah, you can see a little more when I take the light away. But yeah, it's really not that bad. So basically, my conclusion, I'm really happy with this computer. In some ways, I almost wish I got the 15.4 inch uh, Clevo computer because it just, it's a little small, but I do like, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with my purchase, but sometimes I think I I would like to have gotten the 15.4 inch, although maybe that was too big. The whole idea of this is that I can actually carry it around and, I mean, so far I have only good things to say about this computer. Um, I got the killer 3 antenna Wi-Fi and it gets excellent Wi-Fi reception. It's, you know, compared to, it's kind of funny seeing these two computers side by side because they're literally the same size but the exact opposite purpose. So one's super light and super thin and one's fat, bulky and super fast. But I mean, speed-wise, for example, the processor in this, I think it's the four seven, uh, no four, uh, four two zero zero U, in the Veo Pro thirteen, and you really, really notice a big difference in speed. I mean, the Veo Pro thirteen is just you know it feels almost like a netbook in comparison to this laptop. Uh, so definitely, if you're looking for a small gaming computer, get this thing because there's nothing like it on the market. You can upgrade it a million different ways. The drawbacks are small, and go ahead and get it.